Over the last few years, one of the things I've noticed is that we have an extraordinary group of undergraduates, as good as I've ever seen. But they get their information in different ways than, say, a generation ago or even 10 years ago. These students don't really feel comfortable sitting in front of a 75 or 90 minute lecture. So the idea was to take the course that I've been teaching, create an online version, a kind of streamable version of the course that had an interactive component, to make that into the homework and then use the in-class time as a kind of supercharged seminar. So that's the idea of what I'm doing. It's a flipped classroom where the lectures now enhanced and using the power of film as homework, enhancing it further with interactive components, and then using the in-class time to augment and to, I hope, benefit residential education. I mean, teaching changes because our visual sensibilities change over time. Our way of learning from the world uh, has shifted. So I think, in some ways, the consistent large lecture format is, in many cases, not answering to the way people want to learn. It's not to say that it's never important or that it's never useful or that there are no situations where it can't be taken advantage of, but I think for a lot of purposes it doesn't quite answer. And then the question is, so if you're going to do this online, how can you do it best? I think that there, there's some things that are clear, to me, are pretty clearly best done online. I mean, once you have lectures worked out and you can make them better by bringing in a range of visual sources, whether they're film or stills or paintings or sculpture, once you're able to have, say, a discussion between the instructor and colleagues here or elsewhere, once you're able to really use the, the spaces and the expertise of a wider community, I think lectures actually can be, if we play our cards right, be done better online. So then the question arises, well, what's best done in the classroom? And there I think it's more subtle. So the, places, the, the challenge is going to be for the residential education component is to figure out what's best done, what really uses physical presence collaborative work together uh, that, that isn't easily offloaded. This is an experiment and I hope it'll take us one step farther towards using the new possibilities of online education in combination with residential education. But it's just the beginning. This is just getting going.